Hey guys, um, we're gonna, for math today, we are going to be looking at some addition and some subtraction. I hope you are ready for today. I hope you're having a great day so far. Um, and so what we're going to do is instead of just doing flashcards, that can be kind of boring, we're gonna do things the fun way. And the fun way is to play a game. How many of you like to play games? I bet you all do. I bet you all um, hopefully have been playing some games um, while you've been out of school. Um, and maybe you've been outside playing games. Hopefully you've been doing something fun. So today we're going to do something fun. And we're going to play um, a game called Beat the Clock. So how Beat the Clock works is I'm going to set my timer. And when I do that, I'm going to press go on my timer and we're going to have one minute. And in that one minute, I'm going to show you flashcards. I will go through them. And you are going to try to answer as many of them correctly as you can. So the key here is to be thinking and be as fast as you can, but also be correct. Now some of them, it may take you a little bit. That's okay, because at the end, we're going to go through um, the flashcards. And if you didn't get them all right, it's no big deal. Um, just try your best, all right? I'm going to set my timer and then we are going to get started on our game. All right, are you ready? Okay, here we go. Sixteen minus three. Got thirty seconds. Time is up. All right, let's go ahead and go over these flashcards. I'm going to show them to you this way. 7 plus 5 is 12. 6 plus 7 equals 13. 10 minus 3 is 7. 16 minus 3 is 13. Oh, add that one in there twice. 16 minus 4 is 12. 0 plus 12 is 12. 15 plus 1 is 16. 13 plus 3 is 16. 11 minus 11 is 0. 11 minus 1 is 10. 0 plus 2 is 2. 6 plus 5 equals 11, 16 plus 0 equals 16, and 7 plus 4 equals 11. All right, now something that is that can help you, maybe if you struggle with some of them, um, one thing that we do in, in my class is I tell them with our zero family. Okay, so like let's look at this, 16 plus 0. I tell them this zero, pretend 16 is looking in the mirror. If 16 is looking in the mirror at itself, what is it going to see? It's going to see 16. 16 plus 0 is 16. When you look in the mirror, you see yourself. Whenever you, whenever you look in the mirror, you see yourself. So it's the same with 16. If 16 is looking in the mirror, it's not going to see 15. It's not going to see 47. It's going to see 16. So pretend this 0 is like a mirror. All right, um, and then with some of our other ones that may have been a little tricky when we get into those double digits, maybe those double digits, they just really scare you. Um, they're not that scary. So there's some tricks that we can do, like 13 plus three. Well, let's cover this one. Three plus three, you might think, oh, three plus three, that's one of our doubles. Three plus three is six. Well, still do that. You can still do 
3 plus 3 is 6, and then you just bring down this 1. There's nothing in that tens family, so you're just going to bring that 1 down. Um, one way we can look at our 10 family, if we look at 12, we can break our 10 family down into tens and ones. We have a group of tens and then two ones. And you can say 10, and then you add 2, you get 12. 10 plus 2 is 12. So we just need to remember that our tens family's not that scary. We just need to remember that we have a 10, and then we need to remember to add what is in our ones family. Um, so another one that we had like that would be 16 minus 4. We can do, okay, 6 minus 4. We can do that because we only have 16 and 1 tens family, so 16, 6 minus 4 is 2. When we bring down our 1, we have 12. So our tens family, sometimes it can be a little scary, but if we break it down and do it part by part, it won't be too bad. All right, so we will look at that a little more, but hopefully um, you have fun with that game, and, and hopefully maybe if you got some wrong, you want to play the game again, you can rewatch the video and play it again, and you can work on those skills. I hope you guys are having a great week, and I hope that you do something fun. Go outside and do something fun this week. I'll see you guys later.